so here I bring here I bring another problem uh, on inclined planes but something that will involve applying uh, rules for equilibrium what we have is a situation of this kind there are two inclined planes this is one inclined plane making an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal there is another inclined plane making an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal and sandwich between these two planes call it plane P1 and plane P2 sandwich between these two planes is a sphere is a sphere of mass 5 kgs and the planes are given to be smooth all surfaces involved are smooth what we want to be able to find is the normal reactions R1 and R2 that the two planes exert on the sphere that's what we want to find one thing a normal to a spherical surface will always pass through the center of that surface so R2 which is perpendicular the to the plane P2 will pass through the center of this plane R1 which is perpendicular to P1 R1 which is perpendicular to P1 will pass through the center of the sphere this is the center of the sphere and the weight mg also passes through O so we have three concurrent forces R1 R2 and mg disposed as shown and they want to be able to produce equilibrium what then should be the values of R1 and R2 right so let me draw the plane separately for clarity so this is the plane that makes an angle 45 degrees the plane P2 that makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal and then this is the normal to the plane this is the normal to this plane this line this line that you see and it makes an angle 45 degrees with the vertical right a normal to the plane if the plane makes an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal the normal to the plane will make an angle 45 degrees with the vertical very clearly then I could resolve this R2 vertically as R2 by root 2 R2 cos 45 degrees and R2 sin 45 degrees right that's as far as this is concerned look at the second plane which is this one plane P1 R1 passes through the center row of the sphere and it is perpendicular to P1 this this is R1 and a normal to a plane will make an angle in this case 30 degrees with the vertical so R1 makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical right so again R1 could be resolved vertically upwards as R1 cos 30 degrees R1 root 3 by 2 and R1 sin 30 degrees which is R1 by 2 and in addition there is a vertically downward force 50 newtons acting on the sphere so now for equilibrium we will assume that the net force in the vertical direction is zero net force in the horizontal direction is zero net force in the vertical direction being zero means what this vertical force r1 root 3 by 2 must balance r2 by root 2 and 50 newtons net upward force must be net downward force so what's the upward force upward force as you can see is r1 root 3 by 2 that must take care of r2 by root 2 plus 50 newtons plus 50 newtons right that's one and in the horizontal direction what is it that we have we have r2 by root 2 towards this must take care of r1 by 2 in this direction so that the net force horizontally is also 0 so r2 by root 2 must be equal to r1 by 2 right so now I need to solve for r1 and r2 very clearly as you can see r1 is from this equation r1 is root 2 r2 and I can plug in R1 as root 2 R2 and solve for R2 so once I have this equation I plug uh, the value of R1 in this equation R1 as root 2 R2 so root 2 <coughs> R2 root 3 equal to R2 by root 2 plus 50 50 root 3 by 2 this is what we have so then we have very clearly this root 2 by 2 this will become 1 by root 2 and then I have like a r2 by root 2 r2 by root 2 I transpose this into root 3 minus 1 equal to 50 right and that brings us to r2 equal to 50 root 2 divided by 
root 3 minus 1. That's the value of R2. That's the value of R2. And what is R1? R1 is root 2 times this. R1 is root 2 times this. So R1, which is root 2 times this, root 2 times means this will become 100 by root 3 minus 1 newtons. So these are the values of R1 and R2 that we were seeking to obtain. So this was a pretty straightforward problem on equilibrium. I hope you are comfortable with this. Thank you so much. Bye.